Hi everybody, Cheryl Echeverria here from Echeverria Travel. Just one second, I want to make sure that everybody can see me and I can see you. And my computer is a little slow here, so anyway, today it is July 2nd, 2019 and I want to welcome you to our Facebook time with Cheryl Echeverria. There we go. So, if people have any questions or anything, uh, you can post it here and uh, oops. There we go. You can post them here. I will be answering questions and just come by and say hello. We appreciate it. Here I am. I'm sorry. Okay. July 2nd, 2019. I'm going to start out today with some really great travel tips, especially with this heat. Not only here in Kissimmee, Florida, but across the U.S. We're going through a triple-digit heat wave all across the U.S. If you see me put on and take off my sunglasses, I apologize. My allergies are really bad today, so you may see me wiping my eyes. Anyway, so... What I'm going to, re number one thing for travel tips is keep hydrated, keep inside, uh, air conditioning, if you have pets, uh, the elderly, the sick, little kids, it's not a good day breathing wise, but if you have to be out, wear a hat, drink plenty of water, and try to be near air conditioning if you can. This comes to play when you're planning your trip in general and remember why use a travel agent You're using us for our experience and knowledge and expertise in the destinations that you're looking to travel to i don't sell one particular product we service you so if you're somebody that does not like the heat don't come i'm going to recommend that you don't go to central florida July and August and parts of September. I would wait to the fall, the spring, the winter. If you're not a person of the heat, please, I'll see, here I go again. Um, make sure you have plenty of tissues as well because the allergy season. So make sure you know where you're going. I've actually, a, a simple story here. I did a presentation on Alaska few months ago to a group that group networking event that I did. Now Alaska is an area where you can only travel to a couple times a year unless you're an adventure traveler or you live out in Alaska or you know your way around Alaska in, in the winter. It's not a beautiful, it's beautiful, it's too cold, it's unbearable cold. The best time to travel is to Alaska for a for a land or cruise, and we recommend by cruise only because that's the best way to see Alaska and all the animals and the Denali National Park and Glacier Bay is by cruise ship because you get to see land and sea the best way possible. Uh, is is season is May through the end of September, sometimes October. It, it is not cold in Alaska. You may start out being a little cool and you want to wear multiple layers, but especially up in the glaciers with all the, uh, as we know, uh, light and white light or white uh, keeps the heat in. So what you want to, so you want to realize it could be 90 degrees just like we are right now up in Alaska. So you're not going to be, oh my God, it's Alaska. It's too cold up there. No, we're, uh, the season for uh, leisure travel is May through the end of September, early October. And we have done groups to Alaska and we plan on doing group travel to Alaska again. So if you're interested in going to Alaska, Please say yes here or comment on our page that you're interested in going to Alaska and we'll, we will be arranging uh, group events there. Uh, the other travel tip is, especially this week, which is uh, 
you know, America's birthday, it's very busy at the airports. What we recommend is, and if you've seen it on the news, that, you know, weather does affect your flights. Whether if there's a, a tornado out in Kansas, it will affect the flights here in Florida or New York or Atlanta, wherever you are. Again, I apologize, but I'm caring. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And uh, you, what you want to do is make sure you're planning ahead. First of all, if you're coming for a cruise, you're going for a trip somewhere, plan a day ahead. You may want to do that, because, especially with the cruise lines. They leave, if they say they're, they're departing at 4 p.m., they're departing at 4 p.m., which means you should be on the cruise ship by 2 p.m. on that trip. The same thing when you disembark your cruise, you, they always say 7, 6 a.m., always book afternoon, 12 o'clock on, because that's the time they arrive in port and they have to go through customs, the ships and everything. So you want to plan to be off the ship by 10, get to your, your airports by 11, uh, by 12 o'clock. You also want to try to get there early. You want to verify that your plane is on time. You don't want to show up especially here at Orlando International Airport and you're going at a state that you're you're in line and you're waiting three hours and you're like, you know, on that. Yes, it says domestically get to the airport two hours before your flight departs. Please, 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 if you know that you're living at one of the greater airports, JFK, LaGuardia, Orlando International, LAX, out in California, the big name airports, Atlanta. Get there three hours early. Customs, TSA, you want to get there early. Also, highly, highly, highly recommend travel protection. Uh, I do offer it, uh, especially at the airport. We've seen the flights being canceled or but, or maybe there's a problem with your plane that they have to bring it back to the gate or replace it with another one. Whatever the case may be, always get it in case you need to find a hotel night or you're going to be late to that uh, place you're going to be, whether it's an all-inclusive resort in Jamaica or on your cruise, you want to make sure that you're protected. And with travel insurance, the only thing you have to do is contact me, uh, especially if I arranged your travel for you, is to call me, we'll find you a hotel locally, get you over to that hotel. And what happens is, yes, you'd have to pay out of pocket for that hotel night, but keep your receipts because your travel insurance company will need the proof as to why you're putting in a claim for that particular issue. A lot of people don't do that. Um, another travel tip is TSA. We all hear horror stories about grandma being pulled out of a wheelchair and being patted down and, you know, she, or somebody with a disability such as myself. When I used my guide dog, I still have Max, my guide dog. If you're not, don't, if this is your first time listening to us uh i am legally blind i use a white cane when i'm not with nelson i also have used my guide dog max who is retired i retired him a few years ago and he's enjoying his life with us just just being a dog and not getting out every day and, and touring with me someplace is there's a program called tsa cares and what we can do for you or you can do yourself when you're traveling, I'll put these links up on our website under our blog at chevariatravel.com backslash blog of TSA Cares, which is a program for people with special needs and disabilities. You call up the airline 72 hours prior to departure. You let them know your medical issues. Do you need a meet and greet at at the gate, do you need assistance with TSA going through uh, security, especially if you have, I, I wear an insulin pump, 
I can't go through the scanners if I have a cane, if I have my guide dog. Many people at TSA, not that they're, they're rude or mean or anything, but they don't understand the powers that people with disabilities have. And you want to do that respectfully for people. So we're all about respect, uh, dignity, not only for for you, our clients, but for us as well. So again, this is another service that you may not have thought of when planning travel with uh, a travel agent and the resources we have. So if you have a travel tip that you have used in the past, you can uh, send me a message here on Facebook or you can email me at reservations at echeveriatravel.com and we'll share them with everybody. If you don't want your name announced or anything, we won't do that. I'll just say, if it's Cheryl from Central Florida, I'll say it's Cheryl from Central Florida. So we all have our own tips, whether it's packing or what to do when you're out of the country or have you used ATMs with you know, the different currencies, what do you recommend that people do? And hey, I'm always willing to learn. That's a good thing about us. We have all these lives, all these years to live and we're always learning until we go to God. Uh, so that that's something that was Im implemented into me. Um, while I'm on uh, the things with resources, Yesterday, I made a couple of flubs on our Carnival Mardi Gras cruise, okay? It's not January 2020. It's December 12th through the 19th, 2020. And some of you are saying, why so early to book? Number one, this is Carnival is the number one cruise line in the world, meaning that everybody, uh, people like Carnival, it's the largest cruise line corporation, I should say it's the largest cruise line corporation, meaning they have Carnival, Princess, Holland America, Costa Cruise Lines. They're also, I believe, Purchasey Seaborn, which is a luxury liner. Don't quote me on that. I'm still getting the updates on that. But they, they own a number of cruise lines. They also uh, own, I wonder, see if I, Adia? And there, you can see them out of New York. I believe these sell out of Miami as well. They are a cruise line that uh, that U.S. citizens can cruise on, but they're primary a European company that cruises into the U.S. So there are many cruise lines out there that people don't know of. And one of our jobs is to match you with the right product versus you coming to us and say, oh, I want to go on XYZ cruise lines. I'm going to say, okay, but why? Is there something special about it? Is there something you want to do? Some people think because again, like Carnival, oh, I want to go, I want to relax. I don't want the kids around. It's a great price. And I'll just say, hey, wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Carnival Cruise Line is a great cruise line, but they're, they're geared to family, friends, act, very active cruise line. That may not be the right product for you. You may be more of a princess, Holland America, Oceana. It all depends on what you want to do. And that's the value of using a travel agent. Um, the other thing is booking early, I was trying to say is A, you have space, B, a lot of my clients say, I'm on a budget. I can't afford when I, if I post it in a couple of months, I can't afford to go. Only thing you're required right now is your deposit by August 10th, 2019 at $250 per person. If you're a person with special needs uh, that has a pre-existing condition, we recommend you get the travel insurance within 14 days of booking your trip. If you do not have those issues, please, you, we can book your travel insurance. Uh, we like to say 45 days prior to travel. I don't want to say the last minute because then we'll forget about it. But travel insurance prior to that, you will get your money back if you 
canceled before a certain period of time, which is 90 days prior to your cruise. So if you need to cancel before the penalties start coming in, then that is 90 days before your cruise. Uh, one final note, and I've been posting this all, all day, our travel partner, which we have many of them, uh, Brandon Vacations. They are our specialists. The only thing they do, Scotland and Ireland, whether you love golf, whether you love Game of Thrones, the movie Outlander, Star Wars was, you know, uh, filmed in Northern Ireland. If you love bike riding, if you like the greenery and the castles and, and Waterford Crystal, you will learn everything from our very own Sarah Hamilton, who is the best on knowing everything about Scotland and Ireland. And if we have enough interested people, we will be arranging a trip to Scotland and Ireland in the, either 2020 or 2021. We will also have special offers for you on there at the end. Uh, information is on our, uh, our Facebook page under our events tab. You need to register and that's July 9th, 2019 from 7 o'clock p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And it's a webinar and you'll be able to type your questions. Everybody's going to be muted so you can type your questions. She will answer. Also, uh, when you register, uh, make sure you put your first name, your last name, your email. You don't have to put your phone number. And the, the travel partner or travel agent that invited you is Cheryl Echeverria. And uh, all, my name is on the website, on Facebook, on all our information. You put it there. You don't have to put the date you're thinking of traveling. The only thing you will get from Branded Vacations is a confirmation email with the time and the link to the webinar. If you don't have that product on your computer, just click on it and automatically download it. It's not going to give you a virus. Uh, it's very safe to use. And sit back in your easy chair with a cup of tea, which I'm going to have, or, or a, a pint of beer or something and come and find out more about Brandon Vacations. Again, that's July 9th, 2019, which is next week. Same bad time, same bad channel, which is going to be Tuesday. So uh, come on by for that again at Chevaria Travel. The internet's for looking at Chevaria Travels for booking. Servicing you since 2008. Phone number 407-910-6469. That is not a text phone number. You have to call direct or reservations at echeveriatravel.com. We would prefer you email us versus text messaging us due to my vision issues. I appreciate it, but if you have to use Messenger, please do so. And we have on top of the page here on Facebook, our, our appointment scheduler. We will be tomorrow in Lake Nona at um, Starbucks on Narcruzzi Road, uh, 12 o'clock on. I'm seeing a client there, so come on by. Uh, I was hoping to see some of you or hear a couple of questions, but this is going to be uh, repeated, saved here and also on our blog post. Have a great July 4th. I'll see you Friday, July 5th. Have a great day. Bye-bye.